Sam, that is a, a really tough one. Full time Kidderminster for Oxford City nil. Uh, give us your initial thoughts on that. Really difficult. Um, really difficult to put into words. Um, first half performance. Um, structurally, um, certainly tried to set up um, a little bit more solid with two in front with the back four. Um, and, but the goals that we're conceding at the moment are just uh, um, inexcusable. And you go into half time three 0 down. Um, going into the second half and then ten minutes in um, losing a man with ten men, it doesn't give you any chance at all. So yeah, really disappointing. Um, you know the, the two manners of defeats. What we've had um, aren't excusable. We need to be better. Um, everybody needs to stick together um, and, and try and find a solution, which we will do. I'm going to come on to the game in just a little bit, but I'm going to pick up on something you said there. Everyone needs to stick together. That's massive, isn't it? Oh, it's everything. It's everything. I just said in the change room there. If you lose belief, if you lose um, hope, and then you know that you're, you're good as dead. So we have to stick together. Uh, I just spoke to the senior players. Um, in times of adversity, everybody needs to you know collate and try and pick each other up. You have to be able to come into the dressing room after a game of football to be able to look your teammate in the eye, to be able to look staff in the eye and say you've done everything um, in your powers um, to leave everything on that pitch. And unfortunately today we, we, we didn't have that, which was which was the most disappointing. Thing. Yeah, well, let's let's talk about the game. First half, it was a really evenly contested match, and then I suppose you've just alluded to it, kind of shot ourselves in the foot three times. Um, Two goals from crossing areas. Line should have been cleared. Um, you know, another cross into the box. The header. I, I need to watch it back. Um, and then the third goal is just um, uh, it's, it's just a shambles. Um, that ball's got to be ended up in Rosehead um, by hook or by crook. And uh, unfortunately, uh, you go into half time with a, a massive uphill battle against a side that obviously lost at the weekend, but are favourites to win this with this league. Um, you know. Fantastic football club and um, really good team that no doubt again will be there and thereabouts. So, yeah, really good. Yeah, I think I think they're they're going to be well up there. Yeah. Um, second half, obviously things aren't helped by the red card, but to turn that negative into a positive, when we did have ten men, we were really sort of steadfast. A lot of players doing a lot more running than they than they probably were were supposed to, especially yeah. after uh, a game 48 hours ago. That must be pleasing. Yeah, everybody's. Um, run their socks off second half, especially those boys that came on. Um, for young Jaden Carbon when he came on, Brad Stratton when he came on, Potts, you know, 35 years old, they've all put a massive shift in. Um, all the boys that have come on, um, we didn't concede an open play uh, in the second half. But that's what we said at half time, we said you, you could either roll over and die or you could give this a real go. Uh, fortunately, when you lose a man 10 minutes in, it's, it makes it mission impossible. Um, but like you say, I, I don't think um, the boys did roll over second half, so credit into that. But you don't give yourself a chance when you go 3-0 down at half-time. Um, and I need to look at the fourth goal back again. But again, I, I think uh, maybe we could have done better for that one also. Um, sounds like a silly question, probably is. But the mood in the dressing room, the, the players players are hurting. Is it, what's the kind of the general vibe? Is it a, is it frustration? Is it yeah. you know? I think a bit of both. I think a bit of both. Frustration, uh, disappointment. Um, they're not bad players. Um, these, these don't become bad players overnight. Is there a possible hangover of last season's relegation? Possibly. Um, it looks that way. Uh, so, you know, with, with, with some personnel, but you know, we need to find a way to pick ourselves up. We're five games into the season. Yeah, we need to get going as soon as possible. But. Um, season success are determined off the first five games, um, but ultimately we need to find solutions as quickly as possible. Um, we need to go back and you know probably reassess and, and look who we need to bring in uh, in terms of personnel to try and bolster this group and try and get us some confidence back. Um, but yeah, the, the boys they're, they're disappointed, they're frustrated, um, but they're good people. Um, they're honest, and you know we're all hurting at this moment, but. We've got no time, we have to pick ourselves back up and stay positive. You make a really good point, we're five games in. I mean, we're very disappointed not to have won a game yet, but at the same time, we're five matches into a, what is it, 40, 40 whatever game season. Yeah. There's plenty of time left and, and then there's plenty of time to, to get going again. How hard is that to, to you know, 
get that information into the players that they shouldn't lose confidence to stick at it yeah. and to keep your heads up and go again on Saturday against Chorley. Yeah, you know, I think uh, a lot of these players that are part of the promotion success that they had two years ago, I, I recall being at Welling United at the time, I think um, it was the October that we, we I think it was 5 0, I think it was. Yeah. Um, and, you know, they back those boys, the same boys that were in this dressing room, bounced back to go on and have a, a promotion surge. So it is there, there is something there, it's just igniting it. Um, I'm doing everything in my power to do so. Uh, we have to look at different strategies and how we can try and bolster the squad now and try and get that confidence back. But, like you say, it's five games in. Um, this is a marathon, not a sprint. But certainly, a change needs to happen sooner rather than later because time's ticking. Sam, thanks very much for your time. Cheers, mate.